Hello Queen back here. This time we are farming Queen's coin purses. I'm going to spend 5000 labor to open them up. My full labor pool, which means that I will need to gather up 250 of those coin purses. And before I will tell you about my results here, I want to tell you about my difficulties. First problem was actually finding a spot to farm Queen's coin purses because you need to p kill the oust mana tower thingy here. And you cannot do it alone, so you need to wait till a bigger group does it, and then those monsters will spawn here. So, in my case, it turns out that this was the only zone that I could do it. And another problem was that since it's the only zone, a lot of players were also in my way, uh, including enemy factions. So I farmed by killing single target using my main PvP bolt, and I was ready to fight anytime I was attacked. So as a bonus to my coin purses, I also received a lot of those Auroran Synthesis Shards. Those are items used to upgrade your cloaks. You usually farm them in Diamond Shards, but if they aren't your main focus, it's also nice to have them from those monsters. When my main focus were coin purses and in addition I received a bit of those shards. It was like 11 shards when I killed more than 250 monsters. Okay, so as I'm opening those Queen coin purses in background, I will present you my calculations about profits. Let's begin with calculation for someone who doesn't have any larceny proficiency. If you don't have any larceny proficiency, you need to have 5000 labor here to open 250 of those coin purses in total. In this case I received a bit above 136 gold. And if you count silver per labor ratio, this is 2.72 silver per labor point spent. 2.72 is not impressive if you ask me, but it gets impressive when you sell all this loot that I received here. After vendoring trash items and listing good items on the auction house, I've managed to make 350 gold here, which means that without any Larseni proficiency, I'm making 7 silver per labor point spent. That's really impressive. And it gets even more interesting when I start calculating my discounts from maxed larceny. With maxed larceny, I would make 3.63 silver per labor point spent if we assume that I'm not selling loot that I received from those coin purses. But of course we are selling the loot. When we include sold items, this gives me a score of 9.33 silver per labor point spent. Out of those, let's call them end game coin purses to farm, Queen's coin purses are the best at this point in the game. Of course you need to remember that during my process of gathering them, opening them and calculations, prices on auction house were changing, my RNG also is affecting this score. And there are always resources that you have to put into this farming method because you need to start with buffs, you need to have some recovery portions. So as results will be different, bits different for everyone, I think we can agree that Queen's coin purses are a definitely good way to go if you are thinking about farming coin purses and you are thinking which one you should farm. So that's it from me. If you liked the video, please comment, hit the like button or subscribe. Thank you very much and see you later.